we need much more uh, 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 momentum. Um, you may have noticed, uh, and, you, and you may have read it, but Larry Fink came out with his letter today, and it's all about how BlackRock can do more in this space, and, uh, and, and not investing in some of the coal, coal companies, and creating some ETFs around sustainability, uh, and taking out the, 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 the companies that shouldn't be in those indexes. That is the sort of momentum. So there's investor momentum, consumers are aware of it, but we need leadership from around the world. And, and, and that will, will, will keep us going. Now, for example, uh, we need more countries to, to issue green bonds. Um, and the UK government hopefully will issue a green guilt this year. These are all the sort of things that we, we need to focus on. Uh, but I think the population is beginning to understand how critical this is. And if the population is around the world, then the momentum will continue to be strong. And now we need governments to, to recognize it as well. And actually give the UK government their due, they do recognize it, but there's always more we can do. Today I read that the oceans are warmer than ever before in our history. You know, the climate change is here and we need to address it. And what I feel uh, is hugely positive about what we see here today is uh, great leadership by the UAE and Abu Dhabi in getting the regions and people around the regions to focus on this on this space because uh, it is it is critical that we show leadership and uh, from the UK's perspective we're doing that uh, throughout the year and then we have COP26 in November where hopefully we will be able to make some big announcement, announcements uh, about sustainability and what we can do to to basically save the planet. Well, so um, I believe electric cars will, um, and what we've got to do in the, uh, in the UK is make sure we've got the infrastructure as we make this big change to electric cars. So you'll read uh, that 2020 is going to be the launch of a mass of different electric cars, and, and Mazda have invested in a fund with the government that's helping uh, put electric charging points around, uh, around the UK. Uh, but we've got to move very quickly because there are going to be too many cars and not enough charging points. So this is all a, a big momentum in, that, in the area. Uh, and I think hopefully we're all going to be in a position to address all that. The City of London, we're doing a, a whole lot of things. We have, uh, the fir in the City of London, there's something called uh, Beach Road, which is a tunnel. And we're going to make it 24 hour emission free. The only time that that's happened. And we launched that the other day. I think the other thing we're going to try and do in the City of London is is uh, one of the things that I find very frustrating is idling cars. People who just have their car engine on for no reason at all, maybe they want to keep warm, but idling cars and whether we introduce, um, we're going to, a ban of idling cars and that's to stop the air pollution. Um, I would love, we've got a plastic free campaign where some of the businesses are now totally plastic free and that's something which will drive forward. It, 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 it's happening. I mean, it, you know, I was with uh, uh, with Mabadla today, and uh, and they own, no, you can only bring in your your drinking bottle. No, they're pla they're single plastic free. Little things like that gets people to realise that we have to change, and and it's more than just green bonds. It's it's the whole uh, attitude to to where the climate is going and what we've got to do about it.